Okay, for this demonstration, we're going to go back to the W3 schools again, and we're going to use their slideshow gallery. Uh, again, I'm at the week 13 topics in the module, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on it. And it looks very, very similar to the other one, but you just go about it a little bit differently. So I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver now. I've already created a document. This time I'm not going to put it in a layout, but basically it would be the same process as the previous video. And what I'm going to do is going back to this web page and sliding down, it says the first thing you need to do is add the HTML. So I'm going to copy all the HTML, edit copy, I'm going to flip back to Dreamweaver, and I'm going to put it in the body. Uh, you obviously could put it in a div that you've already established for a slider. Okay. And right now it's linking to images that they didn't provide you with, and we're going to swap out kind of these broken images for ones that actually work. Back to the W3 schools, I'm going to add the CSS and edit copy. Now with the CSS, I could either create a new CSS file, add that code I just copied to the CSS file and save it and link to it, or again, I could put it in the head of the document. I mean, that's totally up to you. Um, I'll go ahead and put in the head of the document, and I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Instead of opening up the CSS Designer, I'm actually just going to type out that, that um, style tag. So I'm carrot style, actually pops up right here, carrot, and Dreamweaver gives me the end of the style tag, which is nice and I'm going to paste those styles right in between the beginning and end, okay? Kind of collapses in design view. Don't worry about that yet. Going back to the W3 school, now I'm going to add the JavaScript. So I'm going to select all of it, go edit, copy, move this out of the way. Again, most of the time, JavaScript should be at the end of your document, but before the body tag. So I'm down here, and I'm going to type out caret script, popped up there. Oops, I didn't quite get it. And close it, and I get the end. I'm going to hit the return key, paste the JavaScript in there. Okay, now what I need to do is swap out kind of these broken images for real ones. So I'm going to go up to my HTML. The gray text in here are, are good hints for you. You could replace the caption text with real text, but right now I'm going to focus on the images. The image is located right here. I'm going to copy quote to quote, and I'm going to hit my delete key. I'm going to create a new quote. I get the browse button. I'm going to go to slide one and open it. I'm going to do the same thing for image two. Hit the delete key, new quote, hit the browse button and go for slide two. going to look for image three, which is right here. Hit the delete key, new quote, going to the browse button, slide three, and open it. I'm going to go ahead and preview on the web. And there's my slider. Uh, again, I could go ahead and change these captions. Uh, I'm actually going to put one more image in here because you do have to adjust the bullets at the bottom here when you add more images, and I'll show you how to do that. Coming back to Dreamweaver, I'm going to select this div. Again, this is for the third image. I'm going to copy it and paste it after. 
paste. And instead of my slide three being duplicated here and here, I'm going to change this to four. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and preview again. And I only get three bullets, so I need four. I'm talking about down here. So I'm going back here. And before I do that, okay, this image is apple, so I'll go ahead and change the text here to green apples. The next image is, I think that's oranges. Sometimes you get the pop-up. There we go. I'll change it to oranges. This next one I believe was blueberries. Yep. I'm going to change it to blueberries. And the last one I think was cherry, so I'll go ahead and change that. Cherries. Now, if I scroll down, here are where the bullets are. And right now I've got three of them and I need four. So I'm going to select this bit of code. I'm going to copy it and paste it. Okay, so you want as many bullets as you have slides. I'm going to go ahead and preview on the web again. I've got four bullets, green apples oranges, another bullet, blueberries, another bullet, and cherries, and that final bullet. Okay, not too bad. Again, if you want to integrate this into a layout, you need to make sure that you're putting the code in the div that you have set aside for the slideshow. Another note, also those slides were also labeled with slide numbers. So I'm going to come back up here. I'm referring to up here where it's one through three, two through three, three through three. I would definitely want to change this three to a four. It's going to come back here, look to see where that's located. Actually, it's located right here, so I have to adjust those numbers. So that's one through three. There are actually four slides, one through or two through four. This would be three through four. And this one is four through four. Previewing again, just to see that it, I did it correctly. One through four, two through four, I'm looking up here, and four through four. All right.